round five, our final round of the night. We have a sweet matchup here today. Right, this is not Tron. Uh, we've got, looks like, The Rack <laughs> versus... Uh, Abzan, question mark. No, nah, I think it's The Rack. I think it's The Rack versus Blue Red. I do not think it's The Rack, because The Rack doesn't play Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, you might. If or Red Guards. If you're splashing for, <laughs> if you're splashing for wow. life from the loam. Uh, we're playing Jund, I think, on, on Jared's end. Could be Loam Pox. Main deck, those. This might actually be a Loam Pox type deck. Yeah, we're taking Bolt. Okay, never mind. Is that Gary a Goyf? Goyf? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I just, guess it's just, just good old Jund. Jund. Old Faithful, tried and true, as they say. Well, this is only our second Jund for the night, as opposed to <laughs> last week when we had three Junds in a row. That was exciting. Yeah. Including the Jund Mirror. So we actually had four Junds on camera in a row, more or less. So Robert has reman, I think, for this turn if Jared tries to play Liana. I don't know if Jared... Or, yeah, Jared does not have a third land. So here is Goyf, here is Remand. Your Remand's pretty good against Goyf. Feels good. Um. Ooh. Is, is Robert going... Yeah, upkeep Pestermite your land? Yes. Yeah, sure. Take the, I love take the Overgrown Tomb. I Why not? Why not? And then it looks like Jared... So I think Robert's doing this because he has combo in hand, but he doesn't have the red lands, does he? Fatal push, no revolt. That is unfortunate. That is still a legal target. Yep, you can target uh, it. It just will not yeah, kill it. Doesn't it doesn't do anything. That feels bad. Jared's... I, uh, yeah, he was... Never mind. Maybe a little I'm bit new to the deck or new to modern or something. I don't know. Um, maybe he just didn't read the converted mana cost of that card. Does Robert have the... Th does Robert have the third red source in hand? I don't know, but Jared is really... Has a ton of three drops in hand and is not able to deploy them. D does Robert have Cryptic Command? Yes. Why didn't he just... He could have just bounced Overgrown Tomb there, drawn a card. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I actually like that play. Do we just kill him here? I think we just kill him. And I he think does you not have Kali I think you Cryptic... Oh, Kiki G. I think you Cryptic Command what? bounce... Okay, end of turn, Cryptic Command bounces land. Or counter oh. draw, yeah. Yeah, or just kill him now. Okay. Alright, well that is a very quick game one here. I don't know, Jared could... Uh, distortion Strike... Pact. Distortion... No, no, no. Distortion Strike... Or I'm sorry, disrupting shoal pitch a pitch. Oh no, pitch a. Uh, <laughs> what's the prism that's really bad? Prism array. Yeah, <laughs> Dis disrupting shoal pitch a prism of array counter Kiki Jiki. <laughs> Woo. Okay. All right, Kiki Jiki makes infinite pester mites, and that is a very yeah, rapid. So, so fatal push on the pester mite with no revolt. Uh, Not ideal, but gonna have to I, uh, chalk that one up to a misplay. It uh, didn't matter at all that game because he was never using Fatal Push for anything relevant. No. Uh, yeah, being stuck on two lands obviously put that put that one away for uh, for Jared. So I see Jared Jared has his Graph Digger's cage up, but he's not gonna bring it in. I guess that probably makes sense. It only stops Snapcaster, huh? Yeah, it's not worth bringing in against just Snapcaster decks, um, because you end up down a card. And your opponent still gets a 2-1. But you know what 2-1 Snapcaster hate card gives you a 2-1 body? <laughs> Hushwing Griff. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, you don't bring in the Graphdigger's Cage here. He already had two main deck brutalities, I think Jared did, so. We're, we're good, Justin. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a weird include main deck for a, for a Jun deck. Um Two, I'm a big fan of two in the sideboard, but not two in the main. Anyway, this matchup is um, aggressively even. Players used to say it, it used to be true that um, Jund was or Twin was kind of the reason to play Jund because Jund always had a, a slightly favorable matchup against against Twin. But that's no longer true in this meta where players don't play three or four abrupt decays. Yeah. Now you have zero, one, or two abrupt decays. And so this matchup sort of flips back. Even though you don't have twin, Kiki Jiki is actually better in the grindy game because it doesn't get automatically two for one. Right. In. So this is a an aggressively even matchup. Um, but you got to use your fatal pushes to kill things, you know. If you can. So if I you see can. that Jared has a full art terminate there. That's nice. I love full art terminate. Playing one of my Kalia deck, it's very brimstoney, you know. Yeah. Oh, you got Nile Spellbound. He, I think he must have brought those in. I guess that's just better than. <laughs> yeah, it's it's better than some cards you could have in your deck. Um, Should I Torch of Defiance. Actually, I can't think of a. I can't think of a card. What do you take out? 
for Graph Digger or for Spellbomb. Like obviously it's hitting Snapcaster, but what card did you shave for that? I don't know. Did you uh, sh Raging Ruby? Did no. <laughs> did you shave? Did you shave like Inquisit? Did you did you try to shave Hand Disruption knowing the game is going to go long? I I can't think of. I mean, obviously, Spell Bomb is nice because it replaces itself and hates on Snapcaster, but I just can't think of what you'd actually want to take out. Maybe you could take out, like, a... If he had, like, I don't know, a card like Huntmaster in the main or something, like a, a slow huh. creature. This is kind of a weird hand from Robert. Yeah, it's Three cantrips and two Kiki Cheekies. That seems fine. I would keep that hand every time. Um, that actually seems fine. If Jared has a surgical here... Uh, that would actually be really good. Oh, if, yeah, if he if he thought seizes Kiki makes you. So the thing is, you don't you don't want to bring in surgical here though. Yeah, um, I mean you probably don't, but he might. You might if you're bad and <laughs> overboarding surgical. But I think we didn't this come up earlier tonight. Um, if you spend too many cards fighting. Well, the somebody com somebody had that was one. Uh, yeah, in the tribal zoo game or whatever, when he had surgical to take out the, no, not the tribal zoo game, a different game, but somebody had surgical to take out a cryptic. Oh, it was Grixis against uh Against Robert. Yeah, and against he, yeah, Robert, and right? he, and he, he could have surgical to hate on the cryptic snap yeah. play, but instead he brought it in and is clearly saving it to try to disrupt the combo, yeah. whereas he actually had the one instance where you could have kind of used it for value to protect his tireless tracker right, or knight or whatever. That goif is a 2-3, in fact. Yeah, so y you can't bolt it because it won't die. No, I think Robert's so going to opt. We saw that matchup or that interaction come up last, last match. So op seems good. I'm liking these OG ops. Big fan. Invasion has really good art. I think Invasion might have some of my favorite art. Right after Shards of Alara and Innistrad. Then it's probably yeah, Invasion I for like me. Innistrad. So this Goyf, uh, pretty good. I mean, I don't know if Robert can really remove it. And Robert has drawn into two Blood Moons, which are going to be huge here, but he needs to answer Goyf. Yeah. That was one of the things about... Um, Twin back in the day is that sticking a Goyf was so hard for Blue Red to deal with that it made you want to play Jeskai Twin, or it made you want to play Tarmo Twin and have your own Goyf. <laughs> yeah. But Goyf is Goyf is tough to deal with for Blue Red. So, Robert has also drawn into Deceiver Exarch, so you could be on that plan. Yeah, and he can. Um, yeah, obviously you can, you know, tap down the Goyf for a turn, save yourself some life. That seems not bad. Um, but. Given that Jared knows about these two Kikis, I don't think he's going to be um, allowing Robert to combo so easily. So, here's Collective Brutality, just one mode? Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a whiff. That's a dud. That's a whiff. Of course, it's a whiff because Robert has kind of a terribly redundant hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good news is that if uh, Jared does have an abrupt decay... Yeah. Um, the nice thing is that Jared, sitting on this abrupt decay, he can just leave up two mana for as long as he wants and continue to pressure with Goyf and forces Robert to make the moves to interact with Goyf because it's just a, a lethal clock. Because sometimes if you're Jund here, you end up with a problem trying to hold up two mana for abrupt decay all the time, but you haven't resolved a Goyf yet, and that's how you end up losing. <laughs> so unfortunately this uh, this Ixark is going to be able to... Yeah, tap it down seems fine. We cannot abrupt decay that. We also can't bolt that, unfortunately. Right? It's a one four. I'm sorry. Why would you abrupt decay? Because then you lose. Well, you get locked out by a blood moon. I guess you don't necessarily lose, but. Well, you have a. S I, given that you have swamp in play and that you know uh, that you have a goyf in play and that his hand is moon moon kiki kiki and he doesn't have anywhere near triple red, I don't know. Yeah, I know he's gonna abrupt decay, so he can't block. I guess that's fine. Also, moon moon kiki kiki <laughs> sounds really funny. Moon, repeated like that. Moon, moon, yeah. <laughs> sounded like a Sailor Moon chant. <laughs> yeah. Moon, moon, kiki, kiki. All right, so Jared's going to shock her, and that's what you can get. Uh, oh, so we're, all right. Yeah. Getting aggressive, I like it. I think that's fine. And then for um, eight, or we're getting cryptic it. That seems really bad. Does he actually have a cryptic? I am guessing. Yeah. Uh, or maybe he's got a bolt. Maybe that's just a bolt off the top, which is also bad if he bolts oh, the sure. Raging Ravine here. He gets bolted in response. Yeah, the reason you would bolt is to yeah bolt before the counter. Make a bolt in response to the trigger. 
Oh, just okay. Snapcaster. He's going to ops, try to find a bolt. I guess. All right. Bottom. Do we have the bolt? He's thinking about that one. Do we have the bolt? We got the bolt. Oh, uh, it's a pestermite. No, it's a pestermite. Okay. I actually, it's kind of amazing that we can tell what cards cards are from such a great distance yeah, and with short, so little time. Glimpse. Yeah, glyphs the unthinkable. So it's almost unthinkable. I was <laughs> <gonna say>. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you to it. Get on my level. <laughs> oh, so he so Robert bottomed an opt. Which you don't have to think about, Robert. You just bottom it. <laughs> you never, you never opt into an opt and think about right, it. So you automatically bottom it. <laughs> Jared may not play, be playing. Oh well, he can cast that Colgon's command, which is good. Oh, he okay. He's just that. Yeah, bolt and Goyf hits for four. Okay. Also, that he can also cast bolt through a Blood Moon. Yeah, good, good call by Jared deciding to go on the aggressive there. I mean, he knew his opponent is had. Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Kiki Jiki, Kiki Jiki, and an unknown card. Moon Moon Kiki Kiki. Moon 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 Kiki Kiki. <laughs> and that's just really fun to say. <laughs> it is fun to say. Um, Which seemed kind of bad for Robert. <laughs> I mean, you don't want both your copies of Kiki Jiki. You probably don't even want one. You probably want to draw that much later. Uh, but he'd both in his opener. Which never did anything. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the hand, Robert. But hey, think about it like this. Imagine if Robert's hand instead were through the breach, through the breach, blood moon, blood moon, and that his pester might were an ember cool. That would be a lot better. Would he have won? Uh, yeah. If he didn't have the pester might to tap down the goif, wouldn't he have just died before he got to five mana? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so that would have been slightly worse, I think. I don't know how would that. Have, I don't know if that went on worse. Well, okay, he loses uh, loses either way. But you would feel dumb for having an Emmer cool <laughs> in your hand, <laughs> I guess. Oh. But then, then you would, then you would, you know, reinforce your decision to realize how you're hedging against the mill matchup. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes these uh, these gen decks they do the unthinkable. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and they board into <laughs> unthinkable. <laughs> Man, why is Mill such a bad archetype? So it's not. It's <laughs> not. It's only not a bad archetype because what? What's the? Tell me if you can guess. What is the one card that makes Mill not terrible? Ensnaring Bridge. No. All right. I think the one. Hedron Crab. No. <laughs> well, Hedron Crabs. Yes, <laughs> that card's great. That might be the best <laughs> card in the deck. But the, I think what makes it playable in modern is literally the card Leyline of the Void. <laughs> if you didn't have Leyline of the <laughs> yeah, Void, I'm not sure you could play Mill. <laughs> like, uh, oh, I'm just gonna turn turn three, hit you with my 22, 22 Knight of the Reliquary. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that would be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Jared took a hold of six here, but he, he kept. Crab people. So I like these OG flooded strands a lot. They look a lot like uh, uh, tundras. Yeah. yeah we got to get the basic mountain there. All right. All right. So looks like we're leading on Inquisition here from Jared. Or it could be a... Uh, oh okay, that seems fine. We're going to opt in response. I it could be invasive surgering in response, but that seems unlikely. That card is <laughs> good. That's a sorcery, isn't it, though? Counter no, it's counter target sorcery. Oh yeah, and if and if you have delirium, yeah, it, you get it, a, you get it surgicals it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the card's played in uh, in Legacy and Vintage. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's really funny the cards that you see sneak their way into Legacy. <laughs> yeah, it's super <laughs> weird. Wow. Well, Robert's hand is the Duncan Shackles. Yeah, the thing is, the thing about Shackles though is he only has one island <laughs> currently. He it's got a lot of spell snares though. Yeah. <laughs> Spell Snare is pretty good against Jund. So we're taking Moon. So we have not seen any Dark Confidants, have we? Uh, no, not from Jared yet. That is one of the best cards in this matchup. If you, if you turn one, take their, I think. Wow, I think bolt. Jared might have two more discard spells here. Wow. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I say you just take, take the, the Spell Snare, yeah. right? Take both of them, and then you can resolve your Goyf next turn. Yeah. The thing about taking uh, Shackles is you have a lot of answers for Shackles with the Brep Decay and Coligan's command. Yeah. No, he took the shackles. And I can see... Yeah, so maybe he... I, I, don't, I can't believe that's right. Um, just when you know that you have so many outs to, to shackles. Yeah. 
I can see taking. I can see an argument for taking Karanos, because if the game goes any mu you know any longer, right, Karanos is the card you anyway. can't beat. But unless uh, Jared has living on the edge, oh, with, the this, with the stomping ground. Right. Do, does Jared have any answers to Karanos? Karanos? No. He doesn't have Celestial Purge. Dismember? But I don't uh, know why you, he would well, have you Dismember. Well, you can't dismember it. Unless it somehow turns into a creature. Yeah, it will never turn into a creature. Unless You'd your have... opponent makes infinite Pester Mites. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you can dismember it before you die. Wait. Yeah, those have devo do yeah. those tokens have devotion? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so they do. So now we took Spell Snare, but we also have Lava Man, which probably need a Bolt here. Yep. Well, that seems fine. All right, so Robert's down to one... Well, how you Ooh, Robert needs some lands. Yeah, Does go. Robert have a cantrip in the yard? Uh, yeah, you got to flash in Snapcaster here, right? No. Why? Don't you have to flash in Snapcaster and bolt this? You, you can do that whenever. Uh, no, if you, uh, you have to. Oh, oh, this turn, yeah, but yeah. Not, not in response to the Liliana. Yeah, 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 but you have to flash yeah. that in, yeah. If you don't do that now, you lose to Liliana. Yeah, definitely. All right. Although this does. Well, Robert's only and he had to discard Karanos. He's only got this spell snare. What what was Robert's other option to discard? I don't know, but this is real good. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh baby. It's spell snare is his other card. The tokens don't have devotion. Oh, I, I was not aware of that. Why actually. would Robert pitch Karanos over spell snare? To Lily. Wait, what did our Colagon's command do? What what was the other effect? It it made him discard a card. It made him just yeah. I think he did, got back some. He got back Goyf maybe. Yeah, he got back Goyf. What and he made and he made Robert discard his. What did, what happened to the? Oh oh he, okay Jared discarded the Goyf to the Lily effect so then he could bring it back with Colagon's so right. I see okay, and then he made Robert discard Spell Snare and then God Crypt did. Feels bad. So it didn't end up mattering anyway because Jared was making his opponent hellbent with the Colagon's instant. But if I were Robert, I definitely would have discarded Spell Snare instead Ooh. of Karanos. Oh, that's a good top deck. Yeah. Oh hell not yeah. Looking good for Jared. I don't yeah, get there, Robert. He's got a Maelstrom Pulse, which I guess is okay. But uh, what do you what do you <laughs> take here? Do you take Pia, or do you take the the, th the Thopters? I should take the Thopters. Yeah, I, I think so too. That's what he'll do. He's getting hit for four. I mean, a Goyf can hold it down in this board state, but yeah, the life totals are high, so we're gonna have a lot of top decking here. Uh, Kiki Jiki is so good with Pia and Kieran. I just realized. I can't target it. Oh, it's not legendary. Yeah, you're right. It's not that good with Pete and Kieran. Yeah. I, I rescind my statement. Remember, this is the activation that uh, I think we saw. Was it Jeff Hoogland do that? I think I said that last time and someone questioned me that it didn't happen, but I'm 88% sure it happened. 88? 88%. That you can't target. Um, oh, because he, he tried to copy Pete and Kieran. Okay. But you can copy Snapcaster, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Um, which is much better than Splinter Twin on Snapcaster because you don't lose the card. Right. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah. So, Kiki is in some ways better than Twin. Well, here's a Goyf. All Although right. I think Robert has Snapcaster spell snare. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that probably does it. He takes six here, goes to one. All right. Well, Robert cleaning it up, folks. Uh, Do we have Flame Tendrils, Jared? That's our only hope. That would be sweet, actually, but I see you have no reason to bring that in. Nope. Hey, well, that All was, right, well that, that was fun, it. folks. That, yeah, that was a pretty good matchup. What was this, 2013? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, well, we will be back. No, we won't. No, we won't. That was round five. Yeah, we're done. That does it for tonight. Folks, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we sincerely appreciate you being here. Uh, Mario, tell them about the uh, content. We got yeah, other content. So content. if you want to uh, <laughs> watch any replays of uh, games you might have missed during the stream, you can find those on our YouTube channel. If you just... Uh, search in YouTube Top Deck Productions you'll be able to find us there and then we also have our own website www.topdeckproductions.com where you can find also replays of this um, some articles made by some of the local players discussions about their decks people's deck lists if you're interested in anything you've seen on stream and then also just some generic uh, articles about the you know modern metagame Mark has written one uh, you can find it about how to not salt essentially and uh, well that's not really what it's about <laughs> well, I'll let you find it out. Yeah, you can go. You can go on the website and check it uh, out. Mario's got an article up there too. He didn't write it, but I did uh, not write it. Somebody wrote an article about a deck that Mario mine. made. Yeah. Yes. M get this, guys. Mario is playing Mirror Mirror Pool in his black in mono black Caldrazi deck, and is trying to convince me that it's worth it. It is as worth a it. tapped colorless source. It is the best lane in the deck. And I I was skeptical, and someone else at the store was asking me about it. They're like, "Is he like? How can you play Mirror Pool?" And I said, "Well." He says that sometimes he copies 
Reality Smasher at the end of his turn when he has an Eldrazi Mimic in play. And not at the end of my at the beginning of my turn. When I have a Mimic in play, yeah, to get another trigger. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You, you can just copy a Thought Not Seer during your opponent's draw step sure. to, see, to get another card out of their yep. hand. And you can copy a Fatal Push, which triggers Revolt on both of them because you sacrifice the Mirror Pool. Sure. So there's a lot of cool interactions with it. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to see information about that, you can find that on the website as well. So, Is uh, that interaction mentioned on the website? I, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, Maybe you should get on and comment. <laughs> yeah. So that, uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed. And we, I will not be back next week. Mark likely will. Uh, yeah, I'll be here with uh, probably Victor or Brent or one of those scoundrels. Someone else. I will be back home for Christmas break. So I'll be gone for a few weeks. But uh, our content will still be here ready for next week.